Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog, and in this CCNP Switch Video Practice Exam, welcome to the dot .1x Factor. It's my experience that port security gets all the attention in both your NA and NP studies. Of course, we don't have dot .1x authentication in your CCNA studies, but we tend to spend a lot of time on that, and we kind of pay lip service almost to dot .1x authentication. But there's some terminology there we've got to be very, very clear on, and this video practice exam is going to help us do that starting right now. When you're working with .1x authentication, which of these four is referred to as the supplicant? Is it going to be your PC, the Radius server, the TACX Plus server, or the switch? And speaking of .1x authentication, which one of those is the authenticator? I sound like Marvin the Martian. Mm, authenticator. Which one is that? Radius server, TACX Plus server, PC, or switch? I can do that a lot better, that imitation. I just didn't have any notice. Now, with .1x authentication, what traffic, if any, can pass through what we call the uncontrolled port? None, all, STP, or CDP? All right, let's head for that next question. Now, considering both the PC port and the switch port, which of those has to be enabled with 802.1x ePAL in order for .1x authentication to operate correctly? Is it only on the switch, only on the PC, both or neither? All right, so let's head for the answers now. And before we head for those, I do want to remind you, I look forward to you joining me out on Twitter here on YouTube. Uh, on my blog at thebryantadvantage.blogspot.com and on Facebook for plenty of other resources to help you get CCNA and CCNP certified. So let's head back around to those questions. The supplicant in .1x authentication is the PC itself. Now the other term we looked at here, the authenticator, be careful on this one because when you hear that it sounds, oh, that would be you know our server that's involved. Well, it's not. That's actually referred to as the authentication server. The authenticator is the switch itself. Now let's take a look at that next question. The traffic going through the uncontrolled port, that would be STP, CDP, and another protocol I didn't put on the board, EPAL, which I do mention in the next question. So through our uncontrolled port, STP can go through, CDP can go through, and EPAL can go through. And speaking of that, which of these has to be configured with ePAL in order for .1x authentication to operate correctly? And this is another one you really have to watch because so often with switch security features, we never touch the PC, we never touch the devices that are actually being authenticated, we only configure it on the switch. So it's really easy to say, okay, only the switch has to be configured with this. But actually, both the PC and the switch have to have ePAL enabled on them in order for .1x authentication to operate correctly. Thanks for taking this CCNP Switch video practice exam. I'll see you on Twitter, YouTube, and on Facebook. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog.